viento que viene de la montaña viento traenos la claridad viento que viene de la montaña viento traenos la claridad vuela 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 con nosotros vuela 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 con nosotros vuela 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 con nosotros vuela 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 con nosotros Ik ben medeoprichter van de meditatietuin van deze plek. Raak. Um, English, thank you. <laughs> We found this, this beautiful place three years ago and it was well completely black. And we found it by coincidence in Antik Antik Raak. I don't know the word in English. And well we started listening like what what wants to what wants to be created through us in this place and well a whole journey started of now right now three years and 
which we did a beautiful crowdfunding campaign. We raised 30,000 euros to actually sign the contract and do a whole renovation with 75 volunteers. And it has been for me, but, but also for Chloe and more of the, uh, of the team always and well, a thrilling journey in which we never no knew if things would be all right. Of course, along the way we are learning to trust and we see that things are coming, coming to our way and life is teaching us. And one of the things which has been so beautiful is that uh, there has been always support. And uh, a few months ago, when we, while we were renovating, suddenly uh, Marijke Kodde was walking into our center and she came in and she said like, well, this is the place where we should hang her photo exhibition. And um, well, we met each other a few years ago on the Kiva. And the Kiva, we will share more about that later, what that is, but it's uh, a beautiful gathering with a lot of wisdom keepers and elders from all over the world. We will share also a bit more about it in a moment. And Marijke took together with Roots of the Earth like beautiful pictures and they are right hanging 20 of them here in the community lounge. And for us, it's such um, a blessing that they are hanging here. You have to see it, but it's, it's really giving, um, in Dutch you call it a bedding. It's, it's, it's giving a, a ground, uh, a feeling of support and, and also an, an embrace by well a lot of love presence and wisdom and um, well tonight there are multiple things coming together and one of the things is well that you're sitting next to me <laughs> <laughs> I would love to give the word to you to, to share something about tonight and maybe also about yeah, what brought us together here tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah I really want to thank you and Chloe for um, creating the opportunity uh, to create a space for the messages of the elders to be heard. So I was really happy that for me it really, even before I met you here, I already thought, well, this is, yeah, this is the place because your mission to reconnect people with nature and with themselves is basically the same as Kiva, but Martijn and Herebeta will talk a little bit more about that. But um, yes, so I thought that is a really perfect place to exhibit and to tell the messages of the, the elders and the story of Kiva. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, it's great that we're here together also to talk about ceremony. We're going to explore the, the meaning and importance of ceremony. What, what is ceremony? Why is it important? And, and not only talk about ceremony, but we will also experience ceremony from different backgrounds and cultures. So I already really want to thank the elders for uh, taking the invitation to share with us tonight as well, because ceremony can um, really benefit us, but also Mother Earth, as we humble ourselves, uh, in fact, and to become one with everything that surrounds us and, and Mother Earth as well. So to tell you what, what actually brought us together here is also a vision of one man uh, called Raimundo Tigre Perez. He had a vision in uh, 1968 and he saw a Kiva where elders from all cu cultures came together for the benefit of, of Mother Earth and really to make a bridge from the indigenous cultures to the Western society and reconnect people with nature. As a photographer, I, I personally got involved with the Kiva in 2018 in, in Holland. And for me, it was really a coming home. Like I had been traveling the world and uh, looking for 
tradition tribe and indigenous and then in Borglo they were all sitting like kind of in our backyard <laughs> because I was born mm. in the east and it was near the place where I was born and I was really I couldn't speak or do anything the first two hours let's say make a photo or a film I was really humbled that I could photograph and film there yeah for me I think that, like the indigenous are the earth guardians they never lost connection and they can guide us to a more sustainable and connected way of living. Um, I filmed at Four Kivas in Holland twice and in India and in Mexico. Well, when I first came to Kiva, I really strongly felt this, this story has to be told and has to be spread and inspire the world. So that's why I started the exhibition and that's why I came here. <laughs> And it's great that we can, not only by the pictures, but really that we can share now online as well and share from all parts of the world and also share from our roots. So we invite some elders from Holland as well to share. And now I want to give the word to Matsang and Raquel because they brought the Kiva to Holland basically yeah? mm -hmm. and made a connection with SN and, and uh, Heriberto and they will tell a bit more about the Kiva ceremony and why it's important and what the meaning is. Okay, good morning <coughs> all of you and um, thank you very much uh, Gijs and uh, Marijke for inviting us here for doing our talk and uh, Yes, it's a beautiful place indeed, and um, really thank you. Thank you to all the people who are here. There are lots of people here, you know. You don't <laughs> see them, but you know they... <laughs> and you know... <laughs> you! <coughs> <coughs> and you know why they're here? Because we all met around the fire in ceremony. That's our common, uh, common ground, and it's our common uh, connection. And I don't want to talk too long because otherwise the other elders, the real elders, cannot really take their time. Um, nowadays we live um, really according to uh, a kind of conditioned mind, you know, a mind of kind of set up by um, school, religion, uh, all kinds of uh, systems, and somehow we lost the connection to oneness. But deep down, there's always this connection, but we don't feel it anymore. It's like we feel separated from uh, ourselves. We feel separated from our sisters, our brothers. We feel separated from nature. Or well, let's say I can talk for myself. Many times I feel separated. And uh, <clears throat> uh, then I'm coming into my uh, conditioning to survive and to, to fight and to get all these things to be happy. But the thing what's happened, what really makes me happy is to do ceremony because ceremony is a place um, we create ourselves um, a safe space where you can leave the world behind and say thank you to the world there and you come in a safe space and uh, to come in a world where you can feel yourself and to make connection to yourself, everything is allowed. For me this is ceremony, to be just yourself in the moment you are. And to help this to become more yourself, we can use music, for instance, to new sounds and, and to dance body move, movements. And in going into this kind of, you know, coming into the body makes that you make contact with your body and become one with your body and start to feel your body. And from this point, in the ceremony, many people are most of the time present. You make connection to the other people. And uh, <clears throat> in ceremony, it's also to remember that we are really a part of Mother Earth to honor the species like the animals, the plants, the Mother Earth itself, the stones, and, uh, and of course, all the planets, the moon, the stars, to make connection to the universe. And then, through this uh, kind of ritual, you can become just one with yourself, with your brothers and sisters, and with completely the whole. And then you remember, you're just a part of it. So for me, this is ceremony. And uh, 
to remember where I come from, where we know that we are one in this completely beautiful universe and that we are just, uh, it's just enough to be just present here. Very simple. Actually, it's very, it sounds very simple. It's not so very simple, but just to be <laughs> simple present here and now in this huge, beautiful universe. So, and that's for me why ceremony for, and why we invite, or we get the Kiva on the road, and I think it's beautiful. In this way, I like to thank Asen, because he's the bridge of Mexico and uh, Holland. And through him, we met all these beautiful elders, and these elders come from specific tribes, and their ancestors are still connected to very old rituals and ceremonies. Because in their bodies, there's just, you know, the vibration of a long, long ancestry field. For them, it's very easy to plug in and to let us see that you're just one and be just, you know, yourself and remembers us, you know, that we are just one here. So these elders helps us to remember that we all one. And that's why we have this lovely Kiva, these four years. And um, I really want to thank Harry Berto for all your work and all your offers. And um, we really want to thank you very much. And now is Rachel doing, gonna say something or a song <laughs> to invite you into this ceremony. Uh, yeah, ah -oh. Ah -hey. um, I was asked to uh, do a chant and I thought it, it might be nice to do a chant um, with a special meaning and a special meaning uh, from the elders because this story of this this chant uh, goes with a story i won't tell the whole story but this story is about the grandmothers that uh, stopped a war between two tribes mm. and what the grandmothers did is they picked up the babies and then all the tribe from one tribe all the tribe members were walking behind them and they carried the babies above their heads and they went to the neighboring tribe and they said, these are your babies. These are your people. We're holding your babies. We should give life and bring life instead of death. So mm. this is the chant goes with it. sing back yeah about, um, well, I'm really honored, Hereberto, that you're sharing about Kiva as well, and that you're here. Yeah, just to say a little bit more about Remunda Tegre Perez had the vision in 1968, but Hereberto took over like more than 35 years, and he's been weaving the web around the world, organizing these Kivas. And I recently heard that, for, for example, in Chile, uh, the first Kivas there, there were more than 4,000 people gathered and it brought together 
different tribes within Chile that hadn't been speaking to each other before mm. were brought together again. And I think the same happened in Colombia. It's given me goosebumps mm. again, but the impact of Kiva is really big, I think. So great honor to you and your theme. So the word is to Heriberto. And Hendrik will translate Heriberto. So. Hola. Hola a todos. Hola a todos. Hola. Hola, mi hermano. Pues primero que nada agradecerles a todos por esta invitación para poder platicar con ustedes un poco de la Kiva. He's, uh, he's thankful for this invitation to have the opportunity to share with us about the Kiva. Eh, les pido un poco de disculpas porque estoy trabajando en la montaña, solo bajé un poquito aquí al pueblo a un restaurante para agarrar una línea con ustedes directa. Uh, sorry for some delay because I was working outside in the, in the field, so to speak, and I had to get down to some restaurant to have a line to communicate with you. Les quiero mandar un abrazo gigante a todos los abuelos y abuelas. I want to send a big embrace to all the elders, all the grandmothers and grandfathers. Y a todos los que están haciendo un trabajo espiritual en la Madre Tierra, todo mi amor y todo mi respeto para cada uno de ellos. And uh, to all people who are doing uh, some real good work for the Mother Earth, a big embrace to all of them. Un saludo especial a toda la familia de Holanda, a Martijn, a, a todos los hermanos Raquel, y a todos los que están trabajando por este motivo especial de reunirnos. Muchísimas gracias. And a an, uh, special uh, uh, embrace and thanks to all Nederlands brothers and sisters, Martijn, Raquel, and the other for the work that they are doing at this moment. También quiero agradecer a Marik por el trabajo tan bello que está haciendo apoyando a los abuelos con todo lo que está elaborando con sus fotografías para poder apoyarlos. Es un honor haber trabajado con ella también. A, a, a big thanks to Marike for all the uh, support that she is creating for all the grandfathers and grandmothers and for all the good work that she is wholeheartedly doing uh, with her photography and her filming. Pues eh, hablar de una ceremonia, una ceremonia es donde un ser humano se relaciona con todos los elementales y los espíritus. Without, uh, without uh, taking into account any division that the human mind has brought into this dimension. Es hermoso todo el juego de las palabras. <laughs> the whole play of words is beautiful. It's ceremony. Es, es hermoso cuando cada abuelo y cada abuela entra a la Kiva con todas sus vestimentas y todo, toda su espiritualidad que representa su territorio. Uh, it is beautiful when an elder enters the Kiva with all his feelings and, and, and all the luggage uh, from all his territory. Hemos visto cómo ha habido cambios mágicos cuando ellos empiezan a expresar con sus lenguas en el fuego. Hemos visto los cambios espirituales que existen. Uh, we have seen miracles when they start to speak in their own language, in their own sounds. We have really seen uh, miracles being worked through this. Pasan cosas mágicas alrededor de la gente que estamos alrededor de la Kiva. Uh, the magical things happen through the circle of people that surround the Kiva as well. El fuego se convierte como en un cuarzo como una persona que está transmitiendo todas las entidades energéticas de las lenguas nativas. Uh, fire tra transforms into a quartz that transmits all the different vibrations uh, um, and, and, of, and spiritualities of all the, those present in the Kiva. Por eso es la importancia de que los abuelos y las abuelas se concentren en rezar. Uh, therefore, it's important that all the grandfathers and grandmothers uh, focus on the prayer. 
porque el abuelo fuego está viendo todo, todo lo que está pasando alrededor de los que entran dentro de la kiva. Because brother of grandfather fire is open to all that which is carried into the kiva. Lo guarda y lo atesora hasta que entran todas las personas el último día a la kiva se recoge todo lo que se se puso como una siembra. Uh, the fire keeps everything in it and guards it till the last moment when everybody comes back into the kiva and they can uh, receive all which the fire guarded for them. Cada kiva que se está abriendo en la madre tierra está haciendo un pulso, un pulso energético para estar sanando alrededor. Every kiva that's being opened uh, in the Mother Earth is uh, triggering an impulse to everything that's around it. Es importante que nos concentremos en, en la sensibilidad de la Madre Tierra para que las vibraciones de la kiva empiecen a sanar a todo su alrededor de donde esté puesta ese corazoncito de la, del rezo. It's important that we open up to the sensibility of Mother Earth so that uh, the vibrations of the kiva can do their work around in creation. Es muy importante en estos tiempos donde todos están eh, con el problema del COVID en su mente, que entren también los abuelos a hacer un rezo para que esto se limpie más pronto. Uh, especially in these COVID times, it's, just, it's important that these grandfathers and grandmothers enter the kiva uh, to do prayers to resolve this as soon as possible. Por eso estoy muy contento que se vaya a poder realizar una kiva en Europa nuevamente. So I'm really happy that again a kiva will be uh, organized in Europe. Aquí en México estamos eh, no, no hemos parado el rezo de la kiva. Hemos nos han permitido los gobiernos y todo que lo hayamos pedido podido seguir y los abuelos han estado de acuerdo todavía en continuar el rezo. Uh, here in Mexico, we have not stopped uh, doing our prayers in the Kiva with permission of the governments. And so the elders have come and prayed uh, uh, continuously. Eso ha ayudado mucho a todas las comunidades indígenas de aquí para que también se quite el miedo de su mente, porque los rezos sirven para vibraciones de limpieza. Uh, so it's important that all the cultures, all the tribes, uh, uh, of uh, this land uh, will get rid of their fear because the prayers in the Kiva will resolve all. Es, estoy muy feliz de que el arresto de la Kiva no, no, no pueda ser interrumpido en ningún país. I'm really happy that in no way the prayers in the Kiva uh, can be interrupted anywhere in the world. No importa que no vaya mucha gente not it's not important how many people are in the kiva lo importante es que vayan los abuelos a, a encender un fuego juntos y hacer un rezo the importance is just the grandfathers and grandmothers coming together raising a fire and praying together ellos son los que van a hacer el trabajo verdadero los abuelos a través de sus tradiciones orales y sus lenguas nativas they are the ones that will do the real work through their their own languages and through their uh, local and o, o their own spiritual spirituality. Por eso a nosotros solamente nos corresponde acompañarlos con mucho amor y una buena vibración. Uh, so it's uh, up to us to accompany them with the best of our vibrations and our uh, support and love. Espero verlos en la Kiva de Alemania que se va a abrir este año. So I hope to see you all in the Kiva in, German, in Germany that will be there this year. Vamos eh, los abuelos de América con mucho amor para entregar el rezo para allá con todos ustedes, todas las familias de Europa. Uh, we from Mexico will come to share with much love the prayers with all of those who will come from Europe and, and other places. Les mando un abrazo gigante. A big embrace to all of you. Que tengan un día maravilloso y que se concentren las energías de todos los abuelos que van a estar ahora en, en, esta, en este meeting. 
that you may be able to focus and receive the most of the, the coming together of the elders in this special meeting. Les mando un abrazo gigante para todos. Big embrace to all of you. Que tengan un hermoso día, una hermosa noche allá. Ya, en een prachtige dag toegewenst aan jullie allemaal en een prachtige avond en nacht. Hasta luego. Tot ziens allemaal. Oh. Hey. Oh, thank you Andy Bertha for my talk. You. And I wish you Gracias. a good day for you because morning over there, huh? Eh? Gracias a todos. Los amo okay. mucho. Thank you. Berto, thank you. In August. Thank you so much. <laughs> Igualmente a ustedes. Wearing the sun dance as well. <laughs> Va a haber una danza bellísima. Ah, sí. La danza del sol. Thank Vamos a tener you. una danza bellísima. Thank you, Hendrik. Uh -huh. Hendrik. Yeah. Hendrik. Tenemos muchísima gente esperando para danzar y va a ser una ceremonia muy bella. Uh, we have many people waiting for the Sundance and it's going to be a beautiful ceremony. Desde aquí vamos a mandarles una buena vibración a todos para allá. Yeah, we will send you a beautiful vibration from here. ¿Listos? Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. And we have Helmut as well, who will be organizing the Kifa in Germany. So Helmut, would you like to add something to Herbeto's story? So thank you, Mareike, and for this wonderful e event. And I'm happy to invite all of you to the first Kiva in Germany of Rises de la Tierra. We, it will be start at the 12th of August until the 15th of August. And it, it will be placed in the, in the north of Bavaria. So if you want to join it, just go to wurzel-erde.de. I want to also special Say a thank to Tigre. We just found this old recordings of him from 92 when he went to Germany, to Munich. And he spoke actually to bring a, a Kiva to Bavaria in, back then in 92. So after almost 30 years later, we fulfill his wish to have this Kiva here in Germany. So we are very, very glad about that. And I hope I see a lot of you. A lot of family will be there. And you all my sisters and brothers are part of this family. So I also give you a big hug and I hope to see you soon. Thank you Helmut for sharing. Mm -hmm. And we will <laughs> see you in August. And yeah. guys, maybe it's possible to mention the, the website of uh, wurzenderede.de <laughs> yeah. so that all our guests can be there as well. <laughs> Thank you, Helmut. Yeah. And um, good luck with organizing. Then we go to um, Sigar. Oh. Yes. He's um, a singer, but also a storyteller. And he's also vibrating old layers from the original natural traditions of our ancestors. So there we go, Sikha. <laughs> the word song prayer is to you.
a song for the drum that is beating at the center of the world all day long all day long here is a song for the drum that is beating at the center of the world Ages and ages and ages and ages, 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 all day long, all day long. Ages and ages and ages and ages. Ages and ages and ages and ages, ages and ages and ages and ages, ages and ages and ages and ages, all day long, all day long. Here is a song for the fire that is burning at the heart of the world.
is a song for the fire that our planets are dangling around all day long all day long here is a song for the fire that our planets are dangling around all day Thank you so much, Sieger. That was really beautiful. So then we go to Sweden, to Helene Lindmark. I'll introduce you to her a little bit. She's walking the shamanic tradition of her ancestors' heritage from Sami and the northern part of Sweden, Russia and Finland. There are old traditions which partly have been protected and hidden in silence. Her calling is to inspire, guide, and help people to heal. She says, I'm incredibly grateful for my life path, my roots, gift, and the ancient wisdom from the North that I have been honored to pass on and sh share worldwide. So we're honored here to have you. And I know you're actually not in the North, but in the South, your son. So, <laughs> The word is to you, Helen. Thank you, Marike. Um, yes, I am now in the South. Uh, so I traveled almost whole Sweden. Um, and I'm really grateful for being invited to this because I think the importance of ceremony is very, it's very important to share what it is. Um, because it's different for us. For me, it's to bring together people 
uh, I grew up in a, with a grandmother that was very open and everyone, she was the central in the village. So everyone was always welcome to her and no one could leave the house with ha not having anything in their stomach. That was kind of a unwritten rule that we talked, we shared with the stories and, uh, and also in every meeting had a bit, had a meaning. And I think that is what ceremonies to bring together the families and bring together uh, different tradition, but also to, to a sacred place uh, to uh, where we feel protected and uh, where we also can bring clarity to the surface, uh, but also, of course, set the prayers. And um, today when I'm here, I am gonna talk a little bit about the water. Um, <clears throat> Here is, we have the sea around us where I am at now, but in the north, we have the rivers and the lakes. And we were always um, uh, taught that um, we needed to respect Mother Earth, but we needed also to respect uh, the water because we have the kind of swamp in the north that my, always my grandmother said, we need to go uh, on the land with love. With love and respect and um, that is something I have with me a lot and uh, that is also why I choose to walk this path is to share what it means for me to to bring the north to the world um, so the water is kind of holy for us in a way because we have these double bottom lakes where the first bottom is one is this world and the other when you go to the next bottom to the the lake underneath then you come to the magical world then you come where you have uh, the how can you say the gifted land of the magical of the fairy tales and, and the ancestors of the spirits and uh, and that is also a really magical world and you can they call saivu or saiva in in and there are some lakes where i grew up that has this and uh, they we call them the holy lakes and um, Today, I want to, I don't have the water from the Holy Lakes, but I have the water from this sea here. And I would like to show and share with you um, about the water, because the water is so much. It's, um, it's the flowings, it's the, it's the, emotions and we are water the world is water the earth is water so it's something that i really want to embrace so i just want you to close your eyes and i will do a drumming and uh, set a prayer for the water in silence
with this water, I would like to send my blessings to the world so we can unify. I will offer this water for this land because it's also important in my country to unify ourselves, to come together. And that is also one thing that is the importance to with the sharings and the ceremonies is to guide people to come together, together with the nature, together with the creators, together with the spirits, the animals, and to be live fully, fully consciousness here and now. <clears throat> I want to also to share with you um, also the importance to, to, to be in ceremony, to gather together. It's to, it doesn't matter where we are in the world. Uh, we have each other. We are, we are one root, we are one family. And uh, that is why is all this gathering that is arranged, the Kiva, the Pule, the Sunday is so important to, because it's, it's when I'm coming home to my family. And that is also something that is to have a belonging, to feeling that you can be you and that there are no boundaries, that you, there are no right or wrong. The importance is that you are allowing yourself to be you and exist. And that is one thing my grandmother taught me. But in our home, we didn't call it ceremony. We called it that we come together. And that is something that I think is very important. And I also practice a lot with my family, my soul family, and also my family, of course, my sons. Um, so I would like to say thank you for Mareke for the work you do to spreading about the knowledge and uh, to bringing together people because it's so important. Thank you. Thank you so much, Helen. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Safe journey back home and lovely time with your son and your family. And see you at the Kifa and the Kula. <laughs> we go to Carola Esparza. I'll introduce her to you. She's born at the foot of Andes Mountains of mixed blood. Hello. She's a firekeeper, a medicine woman, and pilgrim of the prophecy of the condor and the eagle. She's a sun dancer grandmother and daughter of the earth apprentice of ancestral ways great that you're here to share your knowledge the word is to you carola thank you very much for the connection um, thank you for the opportunity to meet in this uh, virtual way even though it feels like the room where i am at is very crowded now it feels like uh, each one of you is right here and uh, so that is a good energy being felt. And um, yeah, thank you for the invitation to be a, a part uh, of this gathering. And uh, I have uh, been invited to participate from the first time of the Kiva in Holland. And uh, for me has been 
um, a response to many prayers and in the words of many this is uh, the fire that has reunited many fires and um, i'm uh, uh, very grateful for the work that uh, uh, Eliberto and Nubia and the, the whole uh, team does in uh, bringing and uh, supporting and uh, facilitating that uh, we can travel and uh, share what uh, we have to share. And uh, ceremony, as I, uh, I make echo of the words of the other elders, is the opportunity for the community to come together and to uh, keep the old ways alive. And the, the ceremony starts uh, even before we come together in the preparations, in the days and weeks and months, sometimes before we actually come to the ceremony where we prepare our body, our mind, our spirit to come to the ceremony. And uh, we prepare our gifts and uh, to be shared with the community. So ceremony is an important uh, uh, mo uh, way of the community to keep the traditions alive and to come together. In, in many traditions, uh, uh, the ceremonial uh, ground is reserved only for ceremonial grounds, like it happens in here in the south of Chile. Uh, these are uh, sacred grounds uh, from uh, maybe even millennials of, uh, of years. And uh, these sacred places have been kept uh, by the original uh, people of uh, south of Chile, the Mapuche nation. I represent uh, the mestizaje, the mix of these cultures, as I am a mix champurria, uh, <laughs> chimichurri. And uh, for me, it has been a long uh, way to, to walk in the path of recovering the ceremonies and what does it mean? And what do I bring into the ceremony? Everybody brings a piece of the ceremony. This is the circle of the ceremony. Everybody has a spot on the ceremony. There is uh, the healers, the one who speaks, the drummers, the dancers the ones who prepare the food to be served. The best of the gifts are exchanged in ceremonial ways. This is what uh, weaves and uh, needs uh, the community together. This is what uh, rekinds our soul. This is what awakens our ancestral memories that uh, we all carry in the DNA of our blood. Our ancestors are alive in us, in the memories, in the wisdom, in the knowledge that we all carry. The ceremony that I would like uh, to share in, in this evening for you and my afternoon is, is a very simple ceremony. And uh, I like to offer this ceremony for the healing of the ones who are affected uh, by this virus that is right now on the planet. So I uh, I like to to offer this ceremony uh, for uh, that uh, healing. And uh, because uh, yeah. There are many interesting speakers uh, today. I will uh, proceed with the, with the ceremony. Bueno.
and we will uh, request that uh, when I am, we will do two prayers in the traditional way. When I am ending my prayer, you will support me with your energy wherever you are at. Sol de este mediodía, son of this midday, we have come to you in this special time. We have come to ask for healing for everyone who is in need of. We are asking the spirits of this land, of this South America, of this part of the, of this ancestral wall map, ancestral territory of the Mapuche nation, that we may have the strength, the fire to come and ignite our healing strength. Come fire and ignite this healing process in everyone. Son of this midday, bless us, every cell in our body, with this light, with this warmth, Awaken our capacity to heal. In this time of the renovation, for us, our son is coming back. It has gone far away. It's coming back now, bringing the promise of life. To this, we ask, we ask for healing for our people. We ask for healing of our land. We ask for healing of our waters, of our daughters and sons. Let the strength, the fire within ignite and burn everything that is affecting in our body, in the body of those who are in hospitals. I call upon you to bless us with this profound healing, with restoring our vital energy, our vital force, so we can walk on this Mother Earth. Mother Earth, Pachamama, Mapu, Nuke, we call upon you to give us the strength in our body. We call upon you, we are made of you, we are part of you, that we may heal in our physical body, in this body made of clay, in this body that is part of you. We have come to ask you for this healing. Waters of this land, sacred element, sacred river, sacred blades, pool of ken, pool of fu, Pu ko, pu nyen, pu ma wisa. We call upon you, water memory, water life. Bring the memory of healing, of abundance, of happiness on this paradise that we call Mother Earth. waters of this place, of this ancestral place. Energía sutil, energía de vida, canto de vida, a ti llamamos para que nos ayudes a recobrar nuestra memoria, memoria de sanación. Let every drop of water of these lakes, of these rivers, be like the memory in each one of our cells. Let this vibrant force of the waters of this land be the healing force in the waters in our bodies and in the bodies of those one who are in need of healing today. Water memory, water life, water love, water music, reawaken ourselves.
sacred condor of the Andes, sacred keeper of our mountains, of our volcanoes, sacred messenger, you tell me you can. With your power, take away everything that is rotten in our bodies by the influence of what we eat, what we drink, or what has been put on us. Clear everything that is no longer, no longer serving us. Espíritu del Condor, Condonien, que tu kimun, que tu newen, curen así toda enfermedad, que cure a nuestro pueblo, que traiga la medicina, que traiga la buena salud, el buen tiempo para nuestra gente, para nuestro pueblo. Hey, 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 hey. Abuela Luna, Abuela Madre, Abuela, Abuelo, Hermanas, Hermanos, así que juntos podamos recibir esta bendición de este día, de este nuevo tiempo. Abuela, abuelo, hermanas, hermanos, que este nuevo tiempo, que esta nueva tierra traiga la abundancia y la salud, el bienestar y la paz a todas nuestras naciones. Así que el rezo de la Kiva y el rezo de todas las corrientes espirituales se aúnen en este tiempo. Eso rezamos, gran espíritu, para que podamos así caminar de buena manera sobre la madre tierra. Así a la fuerza de los volcanes, al fuego de los volcanes, al agua de los ríos, a la tierra bajo nuestros pies, así al aire, así al viento, pidiendo la sanación para nuestra gente. Así con la fuerza que hacemos todos juntos. Así con ese entender lo que es la común unidad. Podamos así entrar en esta ceremonia. Ya, 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 ya. Ya, 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 ya.
el gran cóndor de los Andes despertó con la luz de un feliz amanecer. Alas lentamente desplegó y bajó al río azul para beber. Tras mm, él, mm, mm. la tierra se cubrió de verdor, de amor y paz. Tras él, la rama floreció y el sol brilló en el trigal. Condor represents the heart. The eagle represents the vision. When the heart and the vision comes together, there are uh, two even wings of a bird. I like to share um, the magical thing. I sought to do the ceremony outside in a different place, but when I came in this morning, it was totally frozen because last night we had the coldest night in Italy so far. And um, I had seen a, a little girl from the neighbors play around in my in the piece of land where I live. And um, this morning when I went to look at the place and it was totally frozen, and how could I start a fire? how to do, it was too cold. So I came back to the house and I came to look at the, what the girl had done. And the girl had built this. You know, in the innocence of a child, in the simplicity of the heart, I think it's a good ceremony to start with. I give thanks. Gratitude. And to all the spirits of the ancestors of this land where I could uh, place my foot on this on this day. Chal to my. Carola. Yes. That was really powerful. Mm -hmm. And you've got frost over there. You're going into winter and we just turn to summer. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Yes. But today the sun is shining. It's a very beautiful day. It was very cold this morning, but now it's, uh, it's warmer. Cheryl Angel, I hope she's ready, but I'll introduce her first. Cheryl Angel is a Chicago Lakota spiritual activist and water protector. She's a former spokesperson and occupant of Sacred Stone Camp at Standing Rock. She will also be sharing with us about the prophecy of the condor and the eagle. And this is a prophecy of the North and the South. So Cheryl Angel, are you there? Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Thank you for the introduction. And I want to um, 
I want to say I'm, I'm so inspired by the uh, ceremony that Carola started um, and uh, her song, her testimony, uh, her ceremony, her knowledge, her compassion, and her understanding and love is what we should all be striving to accomplish in our own way, with our own words, um, in our own ceremonies. And uh, we're talking about the importance of ceremony. And I think Carolina demonstrated what ceremony is. Um, she talked to the elements and she called the spirits, not only of the planet, but of the people walking here and invited them to the fire. And she spoke so eloquently about ceremony, bringing people together, the offering of gifts, the sharing of stories the importance of remembering where we come from is what I want to talk about. Uh, I'm from the north. Corolla is from the south. So although we are separated by distance, that is the only thing separating us. Um, without ceremony, we don't have anywhere to go, we can continue believing that we have the answer and that our philosophy is going to sustain us and our words are going to sustain us. And we would be lost without ceremony. Ceremony is us, each one of us, connecting with our ancestral, ancestral, not only our ancestral roots, but our ancestors. And every day there are new ancestors because every day someone is leaving us and moving forward and onward and upward to another realm of where all the ancestors are gathered. And because we have been so blessed, um, there are, there are many, many, many parts to ceremony and uh, Corolla brought up a few of them. But I wanna show you um, something really simple. It's a sage ball. And I, um, I pick it in a very sustainable manner um, and I use it. It's a part of the ceremony protocol that we have up here in the North. Um, and I, I inhale the essence of it And I return the essence to it because our lives should be um, one of giving back. That's a ceremony. There are many ways to give back from the things that we've taken. And that was just the first, you know, one simple example of how, how we can take and give back. Um, so I do that with every sage bowl I make because I want to um, recognize um, that sage um, was alive before I picked it and it has essence within it that I can use after I pick it. Um, the unification of the North and the South because the planet, although it's round, there is a center to it. No matter which way it's spinning or where it's at, there is a, there is a center to it. There's a top and there's a bottom. So it moves like that, um, like this. Um, um, that's how the energy is. It's, it's like this. Uh, a lot of people think it's like this, but it, there's two of them. <laughs> there's one on the bottom going like this, and there's one on the top going like this. Um, and where they meet, where they meet, is where we all meet and where we all want to be um, in, that, in that center. 
um, but I am from the north. Karula is from the south. So having us both here is a unification of the eagle and the condor. Um, I'm sure that you have all been in a, a large ceremony. Um, it's one of the things, um, it's part of the ceremonial protocol that we follow here in the Northlands, the Northlands. And we have songs, you know, there are, there are four parts to that, to that ceremony. And if you've been in a large ceremony, then you know what they are. And uh, that number four is very important in ceremony, as well as the number seven, um, as well as the number 28. Um, so there are a lot of parts to ceremony. It's not really easy to explain. It could be, we could talk about ceremony all day. Um, and I talked a little bit about uh, the large ceremony, about the sage. When we start, that's a cleansing ritual. The inikahe, that's uh, where you grow your spirit. So ceremony is vital to each and every uh, human on this planet, and even our relatives who can't speak, because they have their own ceremonies that we don't recognize because we don't speak their language. But I'm going to show you um, a little bit about the plant medicine here that, that grows. Um, there is some. Um, these medicines here and here um, grow right here. This here um, grows on a tree. Um, this is um, part of my altars. I always use um, buffalo. And this, um, you can only harvest two weeks, 10 to 14 days. Um, I don't know how, how my camera's working. But maybe I should pick it up. But uh, this, let me see, let me pick it up. Um, we, our protocol is that we make tobacco down for everything that we take. Um, but this was most recently harvested just uh, a week ago. Um, and usually I'm talking about plants. Because, uh, this, this entire, this, this beautiful creation, our sacred mother earth, is desperately working day and night, seasonally, to provide for us. And this is just one of the things um, that, uh, that she provides for us. It's just one, um, but it only comes in two weeks. So we have to harvest it when it's, when it's ready. And there are hundreds of other plants in your own lands. Um, if there are places that haven't been uh, disturbed, that's where the medicine, um, that our ancestors used grows. That's the medicine that we're going to use in our ceremonies. And, and even eating <laughs> is a ceremony. Um, but having a relationship with our relatives who, who can't speak the way that we speak is really important. Um, it's not people focus on the, the spiritual ceremonial um, public or private or, or healing ceremonies a lot. They want, it, they want to know the songs, like what's the name of the song that she was singing? Yes, singing is a very small part of ceremonies. Um, it's having a relationship with the plants, the earth, the moon, the water. Um, and I can go on and on and on about, you know, the relationships that we should be nurturing um, to have ceremony. Because if you're just taking and, and taking without replenishing, without establishing a sustainable relationship with our, with our relatives who don't speak, um, then you're missing the whole point of ceremony. And uh, and I don't want anyone to miss that. I want them to build relationships with our relatives who can't speak. And uh, Carola um, um, does that. She has a relationship with the plants that grow around her. And um, I am just so happy that um, she was here to have a ceremony for us to take part of because uh, COVID-19 
is devastating um, our world. And there are many other diseases that have taken um, a lot of us um, too soon, too young. And having a relationship with these plants, having a ceremony with these plants um, can heal us, can uh, rebalance our energies and nourish our bodies. And uh, that's the ceremony that's the most important. Um, everybody wants to know, um, you know, what the most important ceremony is. Um, they're all important. Um, it's important um, to remember that ceremonies are seasonal. There's ceremonies for the equinox. There's ceremonies for the solstice. There's, we have the new moon ceremony 13 times a year. We have sun dance. We have large ceremonies every time purification is needed. Um, but these medicines that I just showed you on this, this, uh, this little this chair right here are all medicines that um, I'm going to be using um, for my family when they're in distress, when, when their body needs medicine. Um, and they're really simple. They grow everywhere. And they're in your backyard. They're in places that haven't been disturbed. So I want to ask you to protect the remaining landscapes on our sacred mother earth that haven't been disturbed, destroyed. Our forests, our valleys, our lakes, please. Our water, our watersheds, please do what you can to ensure that they remain unpolluted and undisturbed. Um, and I want to sing a song um, that I created um, that came to me. I didn't really, uh, the song came to me easily uh, when I was listening to so many other songs and wanting to learn other songs. Um, this one came to me, so I was really happy, and it's, it's so simple. Um, and I'm a really simple person, too. But I want to sing it for you because it calls our, our father, calls our mother. And it recognizes that water on this planet um, is life for everyone. And basically says, thank you. So I'm going to share that uh, song with you. And it doesn't have a name. It's just something that I sing. Um, I need to be encouraged. Start. I'm going to do it. To stand up to protect the water. I'm going to deliver a message. Um, I sing this song because I want, um, uh, I want all of them. Um, our ancestors to be there. I want, uh, so I call to them and I'm going to sing that, uh, that song for you. To the Sheila To the Sheila
us this day, for gathering us as one, for recognize the importance of ceremony in our healing, in our daily living, in our prayers, in our hope, in our spiritual growth, in our dreams, and in all our actions. I humbly ask you, Forgive us for our insecurities and our doubts and our fear and our reluctance to move forward with the newest of feelings, the newest of birthings, the newest of knowledge that's available every day to us. It's a new thing for those who have never been in ceremony. It's a beautiful thing for those who have found peace in ceremony. It's an everlasting thing that you have given to us. I'm so blessed to be a part of, and I want the entire world, the population of all the world, all the sisters and all the brothers and thank you for bringing the four winds to me. Thank you for taking my words and sharing them, and spreading them in all directions. I take only as little as I need, and I give back wholeheartedly everything I can, because that's the way that we live in harmony. And that's the way I've been taught to sustain life. So, pila maya, pila wo pila, omida pila, oyasta. I hope that this day, I hope that the words that you hear, I hope that your heart is overwhelmed with love and compassion, not only for your family and yourself and your, but your community and your nation and your landscape, because that's home. That's where the roots are. That's where you come from. That's what you're going to protect. And so I'm, uh, I'm just thankful that you're listening and I'm thankful that uh, the four winds have come to take my words and that there are people um, who are listening and want to be in ceremony. There's so much to learn. Thank you. Oh, and if you have any questions uh, and if there's time later, I think we're going to, to uh, answer those questions for you. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Cheryl Angel. You're such an inspiration. <laughs> and I'm honored to have met you in Mexico, India, and hopefully in summer that you're here again. And I actually want to invite people because the same as Helen, you're with your son now as well, but your son is in hospital. And I would like to invite everyone to take him with everyone in their prayers that he might be well soon and Sorry. safe journey back to your home 12 hours away from your son yes i am um, i'm going to um continue my ceremony here i'm going to make uh, some tobacco ties and um that's what we use we use a lot of tobacco um when we make offerings and uh we put our intent into those tobacco ties. And depending upon what the prayer is and, and what the need is, um, the colors of them change. Um, but the intent is always the same. It's uh, with love that we ask for a blessing. And, um, and uh, it's peace that I really want for everyone. I want everybody to find that peace. And it's easiest found easily found or easiest found um, in ceremony. So thank you. Um, yes, if you can pray for my son, his name is Elias, Elias American Horse. And uh, he needs the prayers of everyone who hears this message because that's how we, that's how we form family. That's how we heal. That's how we raise the frequency. That's how we send vibrations. Um, so. Um, I'm humbly asking um, for you to help myself and pray for him. Thank you. Cheryl. Thank you. And I hope we will have time for questions later. We're a little bit delayed, so I'm looking to Gijs, but <laughs> see how we go later on. So now we go to um, Nicole Sonderhuis. She's from the Dutch lowlands. <laughs> mm -hmm. And she's exploring our yeah, native roots. And she's saying, is there something like native Dutch? To search for our Dutch indigenous roots in this lowest part of the earth, we have to dive under the water surface. Nicole combined ceremony and spirituality with songs and storytelling and studied the pre-Christian history, changing history to our story. She organizes also a day out of the time festival. So the attention is to you, Nicole. Mm. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Marijke. Thank you, Carola. Thank you. Kjotumai, Carola. Thank you, Cheryl Angel. You were not talking about ceremony, but you were bringing us into the ceremony to join our hearts. And I felt in this coming event, I was thinking about how to explain what is ceremony and in how I um, experience this. And this is what happens. It, it is like everything comes into one moment. There's only the now and no other moment is there anymore. Just this now. And in this now, I always feel so incredibly happy because it is now, it is all one. And many times I start a ceremony to pray, <laughs> but when the energies come and I become one, I forget what to pray for because everything is, and everything is fine. It's also beautiful. So it is about this, what you mentioned, this connecting in the heart. And I did ceremony in Holland and many times 
Yeah, of course, we know I was brought up in a yeah, Catholic school. We had our ceremonies, which is what I see now kind of a yeah, ritual. And many people don't understand what ceremony is because they only know this kind of ceremony, this wedding ceremony. But many times how it is done here, it is very seriously. And it feels like, like people say, I have a going to bed ritual. That there's a sequence in the things that people do and they then they call it a ritual. But the difference is it is meaningless if you do not connect it to your heart. For me, ceremony is a kind of, how do you say it? Replacing, reorganizing um, the universe to take the place that you are meant to be. And that's not how many people think when they're in their head, they think, and when you think, you think about. But in ceremony, you are in with all this other life that's there. So when you take your place, you're humble, you're human. And in this center, you come into your heart. And for me, it was very important to travel to uh, Central America. And uh, I think in the third time I went there, I met Iriberto and Sergio. I did a lot of ceremonies with them. And then I learned I, that, that we're all indigenous. That was the most important message that they gave us. Ceremony is not something for other people. Ceremony is in you. Also for you, European white ladies just coming here. We are indigenous to our earth, to mother earth. We are all human. We can connect here. And they ask us to sing a song, a ceremonial song in our own language. And I couldn't think about one. So when I went home and I felt how this earth welcomed me back. I felt what it meant to be here in Holland. So I made a song for Holland. You can find it on my webpage. Many of you already know the song. And then I started to reconnect indeed with this earth, with Holland, with Europe, our history. And I realized that what, what I thought was so beautiful when I was in, in, in South America is this, there's no, um, how do you say it? We are really shy, we are afraid to, to show the connection, we are afraid to come out, to stand for this. Because I realized that there's here in Holland, in Europe, there's like 2000 years of oppression of the indigenous part of us. And in my hand, I have her here. This is 23,000 year old. This is the old earth mother, the earth goddess. So it's very old, this connection that we have with the earth. We just have to remember to reconnect And of course, we, we don't have so many people alive who remember our indigenous tradition. And some say that it doesn't even exist. So I don't know if it doesn't exist because you don't see it on this plane, but when you dive deeper, this under the water, there's a lot of water is, if you dive under, every time I, I I feel that these energies are waiting for us to, to come back. And in the Kiva last year, when I welcomed the ancestors of this ground, I was really overwhelmed. 
in all the energies that, that were coming. It was in, incredible how much that was coming to the, to the Kiva, to the Kula. And it's a beautiful, beautiful ceremony because also in this place, it is all focused in this one place. So that makes it a very, very strong ceremony, which for me, when Iribeto told me the story about Kiva, the story how he learned it from Tigre Perez, the vision of Tigre Perez, I was really shaking and having goose pimps kip fell all over my body because I recognized there the story of Frau Holle. And Frau Holle is here in Holland, is our tradition, our story. And we believe that there in this lowest part of Europe, down there, there was this goddess, this earth goddess. And it was like this, this Kiva fire was bringing her alive. And I felt like this, this vision of Tigre Paris, of the old lady becoming young when all, everyone came together to pray. And I felt the power of Frau Holle was coming back. And it's incredible because it's all the old stories that are here. The stories of Alice in Wonderland and the story of Frau Holle. All the stories about the underworld and the upper world. And in this Frau Holle stories, this little girl, she fell into this hole and there she finds a new world. And there she, she finally, I'll tell a small story then, when she meets Frau Holle, she asked her to help her to, to do the pillows. And in fact, they are under. But when they shake the pillows with the feathers, it starts to snow here on earth. It means that when she falls in, in kind, she is up. And this is an aspect that you find in all very many old myths, also all over the world. world. It's also in, in the Hopi myth. So still, then, then you feel that it is all connected and we do have our own um, indigenous uh, history and it is there for us to, to reconnect with it. And also to remember the songs, just when you connect to these places. And um, the old energy places are also waiting in Holland to reconnect. That's, that's what I feel every time. And in the background, but I can ask to, to go to your garden, to your sacred place. Um, but because of the football, <laughs> I think it's better to be inside. And in fact, it's, it's also beautiful that um, for, for the football, there's um, quite something beautiful that, that happens with this football. I remember here in Holland, there was this uh, Don Sebastian from an um, Akeros priest from Peru. And um, I said, I, I loved all the colors that they, they were wearing. And uh, he said, but you, Holland, you Dutch, you have a beautiful color for a co costume. I said, is it? Because we wear a lot of black when you are in Volendam of Marcos, these things. He said, yeah, you all wear orange. And I was laughing because I said, no, this orange, no, this, that's, that's, if you call it a tradition, but it's with football and Queen's Day. And then I, I recognized that it would be good if we could share our tradition. So for the next um, uh, meeting with um, indigenous people, I uh, bought the, the costume that was most close to the place I was born, which is Volendam. And I was there in this Volendam costume. And the amazing thing happened that when I started to be there in this costume, I felt that not only I was there, but it was a kind of an invitation also for all the elders from this place who were connected to this costume to come there. And I can say that they were having a good time, especially when we, we did ceremony and it was a dance. And I felt that these kind of stick, stiff grandmothers, 
<laughs> when they were invited to dance. <laughs> And, and of course, I was dancing. So I started to dance the way I dance and move my arms and move my body and enjoying the music and the, the company dance together. And it felt somewhere inside or around me that there was a kind of a hesitation, but then there was this moment that they were in. And they, it felt like all these old grandmothers from Fotodam were dancing there. And it's, it made such joy, such spark in everyone. It was wonderful. And this, this can happen when you reconnect. You're not only doing it for yourself, but it's also a healing of all the things that happened here. And, and, and yeah, it's, it's really what I, ceremony is about joy, about happiness. It feels like that's the only thing that we are here for, to, we have this heart. It is incredible what you can do here with this energy when you can let it in and flow out. You can change the world. And especially when you come together in ceremony, the more people you are, the stronger the prayer, the better it is. You can change the world. We can change the world. Ah. <sighs> Thank you very much. Happy to be here to share with you. Oh. Thank you, Nicole, for sharing a little bit about our own roots. And um, nice to hear the story about Frau Holle comparing it to what Tigre saw in his vision. Thank you. So from Nicole, we go to Sultan, we go to Hungary, and I will introduce him to you. Sultan is a teacher, ethnographer, cultural anthropologist, poet, composer, and vocalist. He's a sun dancer, sweat lodge leader, and founder of the Hungarian Tengri community. He represents the pre Christian Hungarian spiritual tradition and heritage. He organizes the Sundeer International Gathering of Wisdom Keepers in Hungary, which will happen in, in August um, again. So, Sultan, are you there? Yes, I am here. So, thank you very much uh, uh, the invitation. Uh, it was uh, very wonderful to listening uh, this uh, wisdom of the women. Um, I totally agree all of your uh, words. So um, I hope I can tell you uh, a little bit uh, from this side of the word. So um, the title is the ceremony. It's, it's very interesting, interesting because you know the ceremony is an English word, but in my language uh, in Hungary, the ceremony it's ser. So it's almost same. So the first uh, three uh, uh, letters, letters are same, ser. But uh, uh, the meaning of this, uh, of this uh, word is not only ceremony, but it means order. It means uh, love. Um, so serelam, a little bit longer. Seretet, serelem, so different kind of, of words, but, but the meaning are love, different levels of, of the love. So I think it's a very nice teaching. What, what is the ceremony? Um, the ceremony is, is the love, come from the love. Uh, the ceremony is a center, uh, and our center is, uh, are always in, in our heart. Um, <clears throat> so, um, we just finished the, the Sundance here, is uh, finished yesterday. Um, it can be very, maybe strange uh, that Sundance in Europe, Sundance in Hungary. I danced uh, four times uh, with the Lakotas in the uh, US, uh, the, the Lakota Sundance. Uh, but I find lots of very um, strong uh, similarities uh, in the Sundance um, symbols. 
with lots of European and hung Hungarian uh, ceremonial symbols. So I started to research um, uh, a ceremony uh, in Europe and in Hungary, uh, and I find lots of lots of uh, strong details uh, that um, the sun dance and the sweat lodge uh, and the vision quest uh, existed in Europe and other uh, continents too before. So uh, the native uh, people uh, in in America um, could keep uh, this kind of ceremonies, but uh, it was uh, everywhere in the world. Uh, so, for example, Herodot, uh, uh, a Greek uh, historian, uh, wrote a book about the, the Scythians 2,500 2, years ago, and he wrote um, very clear details about uh, the sweat lodge ceremony. And uh, we have a book here in Hungary um, from the 13th century Inquisition, uh, when lots of um, uh, shamans uh, died here in Hungary. And uh, in this book contains uh, uh, very clear details uh, about, about uh, a sweat lodge uh, a ceremony. And the traveler in a Hungarian traveler in the middle of the 19th century, who traveled mostly in, in uh, Middle Asia, he found uh, the original word uh, of, of that ceremony. So, uh, or, or word is cerga. <clears throat> cerga, it's a, it's a material covering the lodge. Uh, so now we do a uh, um, sweat lodge ceremony here in Hungary. Uh, I sat in my first uh, sweat lodge ceremony in 1983. It's a long, long time ago, but uh, uh, as I told you that uh, we finished or Sundance, which is not a copy of, of uh, the, the Native American uh, Sundance, Lakota Sundance, you know, uh, because we respect each other's uh, differences, each other's culture. Uh, and uh, as Cheryl told us, um, very important to, to do the ceremonies in our uh, language and, and during uh, the, uh, not during the, but uh, through our uh, old tradition, pre-Christian tradition. But the Christianity could keep lots of, not the Christianity, but the people in the countryside, uh, keep lots of, lots of uh, uh, details and uh, ceremonies and healing practices from the pre-Christian time. So if you travel in special places uh, in Hungary, of, for example, you can find lots of, of very nice uh, old traditional practices from the old, 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 old time. And you know, the people everywhere in the world who follow the, the rules of the nature are very close to each other. So. Um, the four elements, uh, the, the circle of the, of the moon and the sun. If we follow uh, these uh, circles, circles and circles, uh, we walk almost, almost same way. So, um, yeah, ceremony. Um, what can be uh, the ceremony more? Uh, healing, as I told you, and understand, to understand uh, the, the world around us, how the world goes, uh, what are the most important rules of the universe. And uh, ceremony, um, not the personal ceremony, but most of the ceremony uh, is, um, the community. So the people, when the people come together and they, they respect each other and love each other and work together in the ceremony is can help us uh, against the fear because we have lots of problems in the world um, and we need 
to to give and and get power uh, from from other people. So all kind of gathering and ceremonies are very important to help each other. So um, I, I I give huge uh, respect all of you who organize any kind of ceremonies. Um, the the kula ceremony and the kiva ceremony and uh, other kind of ceremonies i do the sandir here uh, and fortunately we have lots of lots of different um, uh, uh, ceremonies in all over the world it's very important to to be humans and uh, and uh, and keep keep the roots and and understand that that the we are not uh, really different. We are differently same. Uh, so uh, I I show you an altar. It's a um, it's a simple altar which I, I I used in different ceremonies. You know, it's a circle and uh, the four direction, of course. It's a very basic uh, symbol in all over the world. And the white is represents the, the north and the water element here uh, for us in Hungary. So the, the east is a uh, red and uh, earth element. The yellow is a uh, fire, of course, and uh, the black is uh, earth. It's a way of the sun. Uh, and uh, and the, the cross represents the the starts of the seasons and represents the the two um, uh, equinox and the two uh, solstice uh, point or day of of the sun and uh, the green endless endless wave you see the endless wave it's it's a mother earth it's a life because uh, our life is eternal because the the uh, the birth and the and the and the death are opposite but the, but the death is not opposite of the life a life is eternal it's always going around and uh, sometimes we have body sometimes we have not body but the life or life is eternal and the blue center is represents the the sky the endless blue sky uh, and the other way, uh, the, the center is represents our heart. So this is uh, uh, the four direction, the east, south, west, north, and the blue is up, the green is done, uh, Mother Earth, and uh, the seventh direction is the center, which, which always with us. So we are always in the center. We are always uh, um, sitting or lying, and we always in the center of the, of, the, of the life. It's not a selfish way, of course. So this is a, a, a or altar. Uh, of course, uh, when I put it onto a, a table, uh, I put a, a small cup with a piece of of earth uh, for the uh, west side and a piece of another cup water here and a candle and the smudge um, to the east direction is a breath in the south where where represents the when we are full of air uh, the west uh, as we go the the sun goes down is we, we we blow out the the air we leave out everything and go down and the north is a water, is a cleaning, cleaning uh, before we we wake up again the next day. So it's a very logic way, and uh, I like uh, to 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 use. And in the center, I have a, a hawk symbol which I got from the Cheyenne uh, uh, artist in Oklahoma a long long time ago. He's a very nice man. And he, he gave me a, a, a nice small uh, hawk uh, sculpture. So um, maybe a, a, a short story about about the magic deer, which which one of our most important spirit animal or teacher teaching 
it's maybe this is the best one. So the spirit deer uh, is, a, um, is a three different uh, star sign, the Auriga, the Perseus and the Cassiopeia, all together, uh, this three star sign is the, the sacred deer or magic deer. And this, this deer walking on the, on the Milky Way and calling the two hunters. Uh, the two hunters is a, um, uh, like, like, uh, uh, the twins, you know, the, the twins. And uh, of course, lots of um, tradition uh, have different stories about the twins who hunting the, 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 the magic star or something else. But we have to uh, uh, this kind of teaching and the two hunters, uh, the, the twins try to try to catch the, try to hunt the, the deer, but the deer always disappear and come back again and disappear. So it's a kind of teaching, but uh, uh, when the deer is, is calling uh, the, the hunters to show something. And uh, the other side of, of the Milky Way is a special uh, star sign, the Sagittarius, which is uh, our um, most um, powerful um, star sign, I mean, for the Hungarians. And uh, the, the main teaching of, of the Sagittarius is the love. So it's, it's one, of, one of, very shortly, it's one of uh, our, our spiritual teachings, which, which uh, exists uh, thousands and thousands of years ago. So now in Hungary, it's uh, last, uh, after the left, left side dictature, which existed for more than uh, 55 years, it was a very dark time for us, but uh, last uh, 30 years, we became free again. And uh, it's legal to research or, or, or um, um, follow the old, uh, uh, the pre-Christian tradition again, because before that time, uh, so 30 years ago, it was totally very dangerous, very, very dangerous, now it's free. And uh, lots of young people are interesting about this way because uh, because we need uh, the real answers uh, for for the for the modern life. At, and and when we follow the old way, it's it's not about the past. It's uh, very important that we do it for the future, because these teachings are uh, teach us uh, about the nature, uh, about the respect. Uh, about the similarities, uh, so it's it's very important uh, uh, all of us because the the world is not so peaceful now, and and we have to to know that we are very very strong together to make peace and 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 respect each other. So um, finally, uh, I sing a song. Um, uh, it's a it's the Sundance song. It's my song. I got this song. It's a Hungarian Sundance song. The text is about the tree of life in the center, which uh, grows up to the endless blue sky. And uh, as we dance around, uh, we try to offering uh, uh, ourselves um, for the Creator to help uh, each other. So it's a very short uh, translation. So it's uh, or some one of or sometimes songs. We have 77 sometimes songs here. And this is one of them. Kerekék, hadd hassak abból, mi én vagyok. Kerekék, fogadd el azt, amit adhatok. Kerekék, áld meg a zöld előéletfát. 
kerekék, szálljon az áldozatom hozzád. Kerekék, adhassak, ahol mi én vagyok. Kerekék, fogadd el azt, amit adhatok. Kerekék, áld meg az öld elő életfát. Kerekék, szálljon az áldozatom hozzád. Kerekék, adhassak, ahol mi én vagyok. Kerekék, fogadd el azt, amit adhatok. Kerekék, áld meg a zöld elő életvát. Kerekék, Szálljon az áldozatom hozzád, kerekék, adhassak, ahol mi én vagyok. Kerekék, fogadd el azt, amit adhatok. Kerekék, fogadd el azt, amit So thank you very much. It's a huge pleasure to be together with you. And if anybody has a question and we have time, I'm here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sultan. Beautiful song. <laughs> and well, maybe you can share your website as well for the Sunday festival. Looking to guys. <laughs> so yeah, people. It's very, uh, it's very simple. It's a sandier, sandier that uh, age. Wow. I, I, I wrote in, into the chat. Everyone. Yes. If you yeah. can share it there. Yeah. That's great. See you soon again. So you don't need any kind of uh, vaccination and card and nothing. So totally free uh, from Europe. Everybody can step free into the country now. And you don't need anything uh, to take part in the Sandir. If you, there is, um, uh, you bring tent, it's okay. If you sleep in the hotel, it's okay. So now it's totally free. Sandir. <laughs> it's English too, so you can find every details, every important details in English on the website, of course. Sandir. H U. See you there. <laughs> so then we go to the lowlands again. To Petra sitting next to me, and I'll introduce her to you. Petra Anjani Moonflower is born at the old grounds of the lowlands in Drenthe, close by an ancient holy place. As a child, she was attracted to old ceremonies and at a later age, grandmothers from overseas taught her to find her own indigenous roots. Sometimes old songs and visions come to her. Now it is her mission to help other people to find their own native roots. She organizes women activities, walks along ancient sacred places and many different ceremonies. The word is to you. Thank you, Marijke. And thank you all for listening already a rather long time, for your patience and for listening with your heart. Ik ben Petra Francisca Hobbeling Staal, Anjani Moonflower. Ik ben geboren in Drenthe op een heilige lijn van twee hunebedden een heilige kuil en heel veel grafheuvels op een plek dicht bij elkaar. My name is Petra Francisca Hobbeling Staal, Anjani Moonflower. I'm born on a holy line of two hunebedden. These are old, very old, maybe 6,000 years old buildings from huge stones. And a holy ancient sacred pit. And a burial mound. Uh, about 26 together in one small forest. 
So when I walked as a child, I was attracted to these places. And I went there many, many times and I started to pray. I didn't know why, because I always went to the church, but I wanted to pray in nature. And when I became older and went to teachers from North America and from Ireland, then I realized that I have to deep inside of myself to find my own roots, what I already did when I was a little girl. So, and by going to these places, and there, there are, there are many places in the Netherlands, we can find where the fields are very thin, we can make connection in an easier way with our own ancestors. Because like uh, Nicole already said, told, it's uh, a long time, it was very, very dangerous for us to do our own rituals, our own ceremonies, our own spirituality. So uh, now we have to remember, and that's not easy. But sometimes great mystery works through us to remember and step by step we are remembering together. And we do it in a circle. And so for example, every full moon we go around the fire and we are together with the Kula family. And then the energy in the circle where everybody is equal will turn and turn and will become stronger and stronger and we all like to remember so we remember and, and step by step it's starting and for example i was asked to go to toronto to to uh, and i was introduced in circles over there during ceremony and then i was also in, in asked to to sing a dutch song and then i also like nicole said well we don't know what our sacred songs are. We don't really don't know. But then I started to sing the song of Nicole. And it's a beautiful song she made. And then afterwards, a chief came to me. And he told me, not once, not twice, but five times in different moments. But this was an old song. This is a sacred song that you were singing. So keep listening. And be very aware, because the old songs are there in your ground, in your language. In the stones, in the trees, in the waters, in the wind, in the earth, and also in our own bodies. So, so it's starting and, and, and becoming more and more uh, songs are coming and, and, and ceremonies are coming. And we can be like children, because if we look to the children, or next uh, generations. But if they want to play, that they are in a house, they have two chairs and a blanket. And then that's the house. So, and that's also with ceremony. If we do ceremony, we are just playing like, not just, we are playing like children. And we do it together. And then there is ceremony. So, and that's what we are doing. And I'm very, very grateful that we can do this and that we are free and that we are safe to do ceremony. Because where I was born, it is still, uh, the locals are still saying, well, are you going to that place? Or may, maybe you better don't go to that place. So it's st still, there is a taboo to go to, to these uh, sacred places. So I brought uh, my bowl with me, with water, because in the Netherlands, we have a lot of water. Water is sacred. And um, I received a song about the water. And I would love to sing this song with you all to honor the water. And I'm very grateful <coughs> the songs just come to me. When I'm not thinking about any uh, ceremonial song, sometimes shut, shut, the song is coming. And then I remember the chief who was saying in, in, in Toronto, you just keep listening. So thank you for that. Ik dank het water om me heen. Ik dank het water in mij. Lieve maan, dank je wel. 
Danke, danke, Welt, liebe Mann, Ebenflut, danke, danke, Welt, ich danke, Vater, oh mein, ich danke, Vater, in mein, liebe Mann, Danke wel, danke, danke wel, lieve man, app en vloed, danke, danke wel. Ik dank het water om me heen, ik dank het water in mij. Lieve man, dank je wel, dank je, dank je wel. Lieve man, eb en vloed, dank je, dank je wel. I brought this little box with me. It's with a little heart on it. And it's from one of my ancestors. And I put some native medicine in it. It's the, the berry of the ju juliper. And it's very uh, sacred. And um, what we did a long time ago with smudging, for example, we burned the branches of the juliper or of the mugwood. But also somebody else received a vision about me and I was in that in a previous life and I was doing a ceremony with branches and water and also a kind of smudging with, with water and the branches and that's also, I did it now two times and it's very special also. So we are more and more remembering and only together we can do this. And afterwards, when we are finished here, I will share this, uh, these berries with uh, everybody here. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your time. Thank you, elders from over the seas and over the lands. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with us and seeing you soon, hopefully. I have spoken. Thank you so much, Petra. Mm -hmm. And yeah, also because of you, we remember more from where we come from. So thank you, mm -hmm. same as Nicole. We're unmuted. Uh, maybe we, um, we have talked a lot about Kiva tonight and we start our, our own ceremony. Eh? Yes. Which is called the Kule, uh, which is a native, Dutch word for a uh, kuil, uh, for a hole in the ground, which is a with what the kiva is originally. And <coughs> looking for our own roots. We are a land made out of, like what Petra was saying already a little bit, we are a land uh, made out of water and out of sand and clay. And there where our kule is represented is our um, the area where there's a lot of sand and clay grounds and where uh, I'm coming from and was born is uh, the water land and so what we decided to make um, to adjust not only have a fire in the center of our sacred uh, temple 
But uh, we positioned 13 bowls of water around the fire so as to introduce also an altar which has both. And the water is represented by the blood of the women and the fire is represented by the air of the man. And it's really interesting because in native tradition, there's, no, there's not a pan, but there's a horned serpent, which has exactly the same meaning as pan and a horned god in our Western society. So this is really beautiful because it means that these, two, these, these different lands, these, these different continents are totally connected and, and even their myths and their deepest wisdom is totally connected. Mm -hmm. And I think by putting the water and the fire in the middle, we are also inviting people from all these continents to be with us and to really have something original from our own Dutch grounds, yes. right? Which, yeah, brings everything together. And that means that we did not lose our tradition. We have our own tradition. And just living with the land, listening to the land, being on the land, listening to the cycles of nature, that brings us our old traditions back. That's, and that's what our Kula ceremony is about, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow, you did very good. Eh? Very good talker. Yeah, very good. Make it more a framework. So, um, yeah, we like to sing one, sing one more song. It's not a Dutch song, it's just a Spanish song, but it's a very joyful song. And it's about happiness, it's about fire. Do you want to still finish afterwards your talk? Yeah, so we just do this. This is the last song we do, and then Marijke is going to close it off. <coughs> yeah? And then the song. Oh, now and then the song. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Finish yeah. the celebration. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Yes, this is a good one. <coughs> Gijs is here organizing all the things, so he has the last word. <laughs> <laughs> So nice and cozy. Yes. <laughs> um, <coughs> yes, I want to say um, a few more words um, about the exhibition that, um, well, in spring we were not able to really visit the exhibition and the Meditation Center, but now you can. <coughs> and. Um, if any of the pictures are being sold, the, the revenue or the, the proceeds will go to the elders and their communities. We have been able to uh, send to Don Alfonso in Mexico and he was really happy that we could support his community with that. And um, also the proceeds of selling the tickets of this evening, half the money will go to the elders that have been sharing tonight and the other half will go to uh, the crowdfunding that I'm organizing for the documentary that I'm making next to uh, the exhibitions that I'm doing to also spread the word of um, Kiva and the work of Tiger Perez and Heribeto and also your work <laughs> which derives from the Kiva ceremonies. Mm -hmm. So thank you as well for doing all this work. <laughs> mm -hmm. And thank with you. Well. With Janke. Yeah, yeah, with with Janke. Uh, yes. Our sister. <laughs> the three of yeah. you. Yes. And um, well, giving me the possibility as well to follow my heart and yeah, feel very honored that I am allowed to do this work and spread with you the message of the elders. So if you want to support them, the crowdfunding and the making of the documentary. So far, I've, I've been able to, um, well, invest myself, but to make a documentary <laughs> is a little, um, yeah, takes a bit more money. So, um, so we need your help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right well, now. <laughs> if you feel inspired by, yeah, all the sharing of, of the elders and you would like to listen to some more, the documentary will will do that and um, thank you again all the elders for yes. being yes. such an inspiration tonight and I've learned so much again tonight I don't know about you mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yes and we keep on learning and um, 
it's so great that we could have been together here from all over the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so uh, now we finish off. Or do you want to say? Well, no, I, I also want to thank you, everyone. And what touched me tonight is also the word community. Mm. And while we were here in, in this ceremonial space, we have this, we, we work with a lot of volunteers. There was one person working in the garden who just planted yes, the plants in our garden. And it feels so rich to have been creating this place with so many people. Like we, we could have never done this alone. And, and this place is really about coming together. And it's the same with the Kule and the Kiva. So it's, it's not, we are not, we, we need everyone in it to make it a beautiful celebration. So I, I, I really want to invite you to come over here um, if you feel the calling and to check the program, uh, to come by to show, uh, to look also at the photo ex exhibition, um, to come to the Kule. It is allowed now to come together again. So I think we have to go deep into it and, and really celebrate it also. So I hope to see you soon. And uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you. Well, Absolutely. One, thank you. One, oh, thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah for good. making this possible as yeah. well. Yeah. Thank you so much. One thing that popped up about ceremony is that if we would go all back to ceremony and and reconnect with um, and nature, and by doing so, yeah, not not stand above nature, but becoming one with her, then we can create a new. Well, I think, as Sangala always says, in l with love, peace, and unity. Huh? Mm. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, hey. Hey. Oh. Thank you, Marijke, for organizing this. Yes. Bring it all together because it's an amazing job. Mm. And uh, I know every time your messengers come, and you come on now, it's now is today. <laughs> every minute there is a message. <laughs> so you're really a Read topic. It. <laughs> so thank you to all the visitors tonight and thank you Heri Berto for showing yeah. up beautiful you we saw you here mm -hmm. Carola Helena yeah. <coughs> Cheryl Zoltan Nicola and here the elders mm -hmm. Sieger yeah. Petra wow <laughs> yes yeah. wonderful so we've lost yeah. one more song one more song